Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next topic is SCC and OCC. SCC means here short circuit characteristics. SCC means short circuit characteristics. These SCC and OCC are useful to study the whenever is whenever the alternator is shorted. So what are the characteristics and OCC also whenever the alternator is open circuited what are the characteristics we will discuss in this topic so in this first we will look at the short circuit characteristics here for the short circuit characteristics the machine is driven at rated synchronous speed the armature terminals are short circuited through the alter through the ammeter just look at here this is the machine that machine consisting of the synchronous machine it is the generally it is the stator generally it is the stator and it is a rotor this is the rotor and this is the stator right this is the stator here rotor is excited with the dc source so we are we are exciting with the dc source and this is the rotor field and we are using some ammeter and then the state are state are is three phase circuit that is shorted look at here all three terminals are shorted with an ammeter let's look at this is the ammeter yes then the relation between the field current flowing in this current and the short circuit current then it will be the short circuit current it is known as the short circuit characteristics just look at here by varying the field current and x axis we will take the short circuit current on the y axis short circuit current on the y axis then we will get some characteristics between the field current and the short circuit current okay here the field current is generally increases gradually increases from zero so it's starting from the zero and until short circuit armature current reached its maximum safe value so this is increases up to what up to what short circuited armature current it particularly short circuited armature current okay reach its maximum value so up to its maximum value so armature current will reach and uh, it will reach the maximum value right okay so generally it is about how much it value it is 125 to 125 to 150 percent of the rated current 120 to 150 percent of the rated current so up to this we can increase the armature current up to 125 to 150 percent of the rated current then so up to what so up to we are increasing um, the short circuit the saturation under short circuit conditions or does not occur so in short circuit saturation can uh, the saturation generally we have the saturation the saturation under short circuit conditions doesn't occur so we are using the short circuit conditions generally okay or doesn't occur if these are not possible or doesn't occur these are not possible okay so the, these are the characteristics are like this we are increasing the field current and we will write the short circuit current we will write the short circuit current okay this is about the short circuit characteristics of the synchronous machine okay next open circuit characteristics of the synchronous machine here the name itself look at here open circuit characteristic same thing here just we open the all armature terminals and we are connecting a voltmeter across any two phases are between line okay and and between the line here just we are exciting with the dc source dc source exciting to the field so we have the field here we are exciting here and we are connecting a ammeter across it a meter across it and we are connecting a voltmeter across it 
then simply by varying the field current by varying the field current and we will collect the and we will collect the voltage from the voltmeter that voltage is you can take it as ef this is the voltmeter then the relation between the field current and the induced emf e induced emf e is gives the open circuit characteristics uh, simply whenever armature terminals are open whenever armature terminals are open by varying the field current uh, we will draw a graph between the uh, between the voltage across armature terminals and the field current e is known as the e is known as the open circuit characteristics e is known as the open circuit characteristics these are the characteristics okay here the alternator is driven at constant speed rated speed and open circuit voltage is noted as the field current is gradually increases from zero just simply we should keep the speed must should be constant speed here also uh, we are missing that the point is speed is constant synchronous speed speed should be the synchronous speed there is no change in the speed speed shouldn't change speed should not be changed and here field current is gradually increased from zero this is increased from the zero okay right the final value of emf the final value of the emf due to the field should be at least 125 percent of the rated voltage we are increasing up to 125 percent of the rated voltage in open circuit characteristics the voltage should be the 125 percent and in short circuit characteristics the armature current should be the 125 to 150 percent of the rated current so these these three should be maintained these three should be maintained okay this is about open circuit and short circuit characteristics of the synchronous machine open circuit characteristics are nothing but open circuit voltage and field current short circuit characteristics are nothing but uh, short circuit armature current versus field current these with the characteristics next topic is voltage regulation method so up to now we discussed about the uh, voltage regulation and how to find out the voltage regulation what is the importance of the voltage regulation so in our electrical system we have uh, different different methods to calculate the voltage regulation in that first method synchronous impedance method or emf method uh, that, what is the first method first method is the synchronous impedance method or emf method that is the zs method next second method is rother's ampere turns method or mmf method so look at here this is the ampere turns method or the mmf method both are the same okay so third method is zero power factor method or portier method we can name it as portier triangle method also portier triangle method or portier method next fourth american standard association method american standard association method so these are the different different methods to calculate the uh, voltage regulation of the synchronous machine so once again we will look at the difference between these four methods the first method will give synchronous impedance method or emf method synchronous impedance method or emf method that is the zs the second method is rother's ampere turns method or mmf method so that means in this we will calculate the ampere turns next third is zero power factor or portier triangle method so we should calculate some triangle like this then we will calculate the things american standard association method we can name it as the asa method you can name it as the asa method okay so by using this four methods we can calculate the voltage regulation of the synchronous machine okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you